Hi, today let's talk about proving a quadrilateral is a square using the distance formula. Here's our quadrilateral and here's the distance formula. What we're going to do today is show that quadrilateral PART is a rhombus with congruent diagonals because if you have a rhombus with congruent diagonals then you also have a rectangle and a rhombus that's a rectangle will be a square. First thing we need to do is find the lengths of all four sides using our distance formula. I'm not going to show that work here in the video, so if you just pause the video for a few minutes, find your lengths using the distance formula, and then come back, we'll compare and see how you did. Now that you've found the lengths, hopefully you came out with the same lengths that I came out with, which is the square root of 18 for all side lengths. You'll notice I didn't break down the radicals. When you're in the middle of a proof, you do not have to break down the radicals because the radical value is not our ultimate goal. Our ultimate goal here is to prove that we have a square, and we're only just finding out right here whether the lengths are the same. From the radical 18s, I can see that all four sides are congruent. Therefore, PART is a rhombus. Our next step will be to draw in each diagonal and then find the length of those diagonals. So I'm going to draw in diagonal AT and diagonal PR. You want to have the diagonals drawn in there because in, in the process of our proof we will be referring to those. Now we need to find the length of AT and the length of PR, again using our distance formula. So pause the video, find your lengths, and then come back. Back to the lengths of the diagonals. AT is rad 36, which is really 6, and PR is radical 36 also, which is 6. So the diagonals are congruent, making it a rectangle. In my final conclusion, our final conclusion, PART is a square since it is both a rhombus and a rectangle. That's just one of the methods for proving a square. Good luck.